starting. We're doing yin today. Soles of our feet together, knees out wide with a bolster and a block. Starting to connect with the breath. Breathing into a four count, <clears throat> holding to a four count and exhaling to a four count. And as you breathe, breathe in through the belly, up through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to the tops of your throats. And then exhale in the opposite direction from the tops of your throats, down through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to the bellies, as though you're wringing water from a washcloth, bringing navel into spine. Again, perhaps place your right hands on your bellies and your left hands on your hearts to track the breath as it moves through your bodies. And let's begin. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale. Two, three, four. Again, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. One more time, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Now allow your breathing to come naturally to its own rhythm. Allow the warmth of your breath to go to any area of your body that is tense or sore <clears throat> and allow the breath to relieve the tension or soreness that is there. Imagine your breath gathering up all of the tension and soreness in your bodies and breathing it out so that you begin to feel peaceful and relaxed. Any distracting thoughts or feelings that you may have, allow them to be sent out with the breath. And as you breathe, allow yourselves to become more and more peaceful and relaxed, going deeper and deeper into a feeling of gratitude and calm. Connect with a personal intention for this practice. That intention could be physical, mental, or spiritual. And it could be for you or for someone you love. Today, let's all dedicate our practices to Helen's beautiful son, Domino, who we know is having a blast with all of our kids. I know that Morgan is having so much fun with him, as is Chelsea, but all of our kids are together. Sean is there, Devin is there, um, Weston is there. I'm not sure if all of the people who are on today, Tyler is there. 
I, I just want you all to know that they are happy, healthy, and home. And we are still in school. We're here to learn something. It may be very hard at times, but we are always moving forward. And I have dedicated my life to helping others in honor of both Morgan and Chelsea. And it makes every day worth living. I feel so, so much enormous gratitude to these kids who surround me with love every single day. My ears are ringing right now. I'm sorry, I don't usually wax on about these things, but they are just so amazing. And I feel so grateful to have all of them in my life. Just as I feel grateful to have all of their moms and dads in my life as well. Feel that intention with one deep inhale. And one deep exhale. Good job. Inhale those knees and arms to center. <clears throat> Exhale as you roll over onto the right side in the fetal position. Remain here for a few breaths. And again, breathe in, find where there's resistance in the body, breathe that resistance out. Good job. Use the strength of your arms to come up to a seated position facing the front of the room. Switch back on to your bolster, flex your feet, sitting up straight. Again, it's Thursday, we have yoga at the library today, which is exciting. Inhale, both arms all the way up. Exhale, pull forward, hinge at the hips, reach, 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 as far as you can with a flat back. Place your arms down so your hands are on either side of your calves. Inhale, halfway up. And exhale down, chin to shin in Dandasana. Then pull yourselves in. Sorry, I don't think I mentioned Devin. Yeah, maybe I did. I'm not sure. I want to make sure that everyone knows that our kids are all together. They're the reason that we have found each other. Drag your shoulders back and down as you're doing this. Allow yourselves through the breath to come closer and closer to your thighs. If this is impossible, you can always use a block in between your calves. You can use a bolster on your thighs. Wherever you are is perfect. I must say that yoga is one of the ways that I feel the most connected to our kids. Along with hiking, these are the two activities that are my meditation. Again, we're here for three minutes. So allow yourselves to relax. Make sure that your heels are on a surface that's comfortable. It takes three minutes for the fascia to open. And Dandasana is such a wonderful position because of the fact that it makes us feel relaxed. Anytime that we do forward folds, we are relaxing ourselves. When we do back bends, we're energizing ourselves. The 
again, connecting with the breath. Your breath is your power. And again, I just want to tell everyone that although Chelsea passed 30 years ago in January, and Morgan passed 12 years ago, I feel just as connected to them today as I did before. Of course, Chelsea was only two days old, but I know that they're with me every step of the way, just as all of our kids are with us every step of the way. You should be feeling as though you can come closer and closer to your thighs through the breath, opening yourself up, breathing in and out. And slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale first. Keep those feet flexed. Inhale both arms all the way up. Exhale as you twist to the right, opening east and west. And then drag that left elbow down on the outside of your right knee, making mudras with both sets of fingers, opening up your torsos. Drag those shoulders back and down. Keep breathing, your breath is your power. And we're opening those right obliques through the breath, releasing any toxins that we may be storing there. Inhale back to center. Exhale, opening to the left, east and west. Drag that right elbow down on the outside of your left knee. Look up towards the ceiling. Opening up, dragging your shoulders back and down. Feeling gratitude for this position that allows us to open and to release those toxins. 2022 is going to be an awesome year. I can feel it. We're almost there. Almost almost going to leave 2021 behind. And smile. Again, we're dragging our shoulders back and down as we do this, opening the 
of leftovers as much as possible. We're going to save this until we are, let's see if I can figure out how to do this without my glasses. We'll play this for just a little bit longer and then we'll use the Tibetan bowl meditation. Again, we're here for three minutes. Allowing the fascia to open through the breath. Breathing in and out. Imagine a white light rising through each of your chakras, opening them up as the white light passes through.
slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you extend those legs in front of you, shake it out. Again, maybe come back on your bolster if this is in your practice. Inhale first, exhale as you bend that right knee, dragging your right heel to your sit bone. Flex that left foot. Inhale both arms all the way up. Exhale, fold forward, hinge at the hips, reach, 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 reach. As far as you can. And then just melt. Again, in half dandasana, half staff pose. Breathing in and out. Feeling more and more calm with these forward folds. Take two more deep breaths here, in and out. <sighs> then slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you bend that left knee, twisting to the back of the room. Switch your hips back. Inhale first. Exhale as you walk those hands forward. Again, in a full body twist. We're going to go ahead and listen to the chakra expansion. One more time on this side.
slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you extend your legs and shake them out. Good job. Come up to the tops of your mats in Sukhasana. Place your bolsters in front of you if you'd like to. Maybe spread them out. <clears throat> Inhale first. Exhale as you extend that right leg, flex your foot, draw that left heel in. Good job. Place your right hand on your right knee, your left hand on your left knee. Inhale that left arm up and over as you slide that right hand down, opening up. In gatekeeper. Again, breathing in to those left obliques. I just saw a celebrity, and I can't think of who it was. I think on Instagram, showing this gatekeeper position as a wonderful way to release toxins during the holidays. And I think that it was the first time that she tried it and she thought, gosh, this really does work. Again, breathing deep in, exhaling deeply as well. Opening those left obliques. Inhale back to center. Exhale first, keep that right foot flexed. Ooh. Inhale, both arms up. And exhale as you fold forward into the hips, keep your right knee facing the ceiling. Reach, 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 reach. Place your fingertips down, then drag your hearts down in humbly bowing gatekeeper. <laughs> Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you walk them to the left, grabbing onto the left knee with your right hand. Bring that left hand back. Again, twisting. Releasing toxins as we do. It's my Thursday. Inhale. That left arm up and over. Find those right toes if you can. In twisted Janya Shrishasana. Again, we're opening up those left obliques. Opening up our shoulders. Exhale down to traditional Janya Shrishasana. Maybe placing that left hand on your left kidney. Breathing in and out in traditional Janya Shrishasana. You have your hand on your kidney. You might be puffing out the kidney. Setting in the breath. Inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you bend that right knee. Inhale first. Exhale, extend that left leg. Place your left hand 
on your left knee. Inhale that right arm up and over. Sliding that left hand down, finding your left toes with both hands. And gatekeeper, keeping up towards the ceiling, opening up those right obliques. And smiling.
that left leg all the way around. Left foot is parallel to your right thigh. Bring that right foot in. And that right elbow in. Inhale that left arm up and around. Find your right hip crease. Possibly take a bind in the Mariandrasana twist. Again, dragging those shoulders back and down. Breathing in and out. Releasing toxins as you do. In the Mariandrasana twist. Good job. Inhale back to center. Extend your legs and shake them out. Come up to the tops of your mats in Malasana. This time, if you'd like to, you can rock forward, placing your hands on the mat or the floor, finding that sweet spot to roll into Vakasana for a few seconds or for longer. If you'd like to stay here while we are doing our breathing, you can do that. We're going to inhale from our root chakra all the way up to our crown chakra and exhale down again. Inhale and exhale. One more time, inhale and exhale. Down. Place your hands on the mat. Inhale halfway up to Arda. Take a giant step back with that right foot this time. Walk your left foot all the way across. Left knee down, right knee down, right top of foot down. Inhale as you walk the hands back. And exhale as you walk them forward. Coming down on that right cheek, if this is in your practice. So interesting because over the past few days, my wrist has been aching. But I realize that it's not because I'm going backwards. It's just the barometric pressure. It's because of all of the thunderstorms. It's actually a wonderful thing that it's raining. And it's kind of cool that I can tell when rain is coming too. With this metal rod in my wrist. But I am very, very fortunate to live here in Arizona where we don't have very much rain. So my wrist has not hurt for a very, very long time. But I do remember my physical therapist telling me that with a metal rod, that's what happens. So I'm not going to worry about it. I know it's supposed to happen, and I know it'll get better once the sun comes out. Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again, coming up on that left hip. <clears throat> Swing that right leg all the way around. Right foot is parallel to your left thigh. Bring that left foot in and that left elbow in. Inhale that right arm up and around. Find that left hip crease and breathe. Again, maybe take a bind. Breathing in and out. In the Mariandrasana twist, releasing toxins, massaging our internal organs. Inhale back to center. Exhale as you extend your legs 
shake them out. For the last part of the practice, we're going to do legs up the wall in a few positions. So if you can, get your mat, place it against the wall. And then possibly place your bolster, your blanket in the middle of the mat. Make sure that your block is handy. And then I'm going to move this out. Again, to get those legs up the wall, place your hip against the wall with your knees bent. You can be on either side. Inhale first. And exhale as you allow those legs to move up the wall, pushing yourselves in with your elbows into legs up the wall. And again, in this position, we're allowing the circulation to come back down to our vital organs, back down to our brain. This is such a healing position. It also calms us down. It's a natural facelift, keeps us young. Again, breathing in and out. One of the things about this position too is that if you have trouble sleeping at night, you should try doing this for three minutes before you go to bed. Should calm you down and allow you to sleep through the night. For those of you who are thinking of coming to yoga today, I just wanted to tell you that um, we usually always make sure that people wear masks in class. I'm going to be sure that everyone is wearing a mask today because of the new variant. I have so many friends who have caught breakthrough cases of this, so we don't want anyone to get sick in class today. Let's go ahead and inhale first. And then exhale as we allow our legs to open with gravity as far as they can in dragonfly.
Let's slowly inhale back to center again. And exhale as you draw those knees in for a hug. Rock back and forth. Massage your lower backs and your kidneys. Good job. Inhale first. Exhale as you extend those legs once again. We're going to be doing <clears throat> Shavasana with our legs up the wall. Starting to connect once again with the breath and relaxing each part of our body. Palms are up to receive or down to ground. Again, starting to relax. Relax your toes, relax your feet, relax your ankles, relax your calves, relax your knees, relax your thighs, relax your hips, relax your torsos, relax your fingers, relax your hands, relax your wrists, relax your forearms. Relax your elbows, relax your upper arms, relax your shoulders. Relax your necks, relax your jaws, relax your cheeks. Relax your foreheads. Relax the crowns of your heads. Just relax. Start to bring movement back to your fingers and your toes by wiggling your toes and maybe touching each finger with your thumb. Reach your arms overhead, extend through your feet, giving yourselves a full body stretch and filling your lungs with your breath. Then exhale as you draw those knees in for one final compassionate hug, rocking back and forth, massaging your lower backs and your kidneys. Slowly roll over to the right side in the fetal position and remain here for a few breaths. Then using the strength of your arms, come back to a seated position facing the front of the room. <clears throat> Legs are crossed, hands are at Anjali Mudra, heads are bowed in honor of our practices. From the place deep in my soul that I know to be pure and true, I bow to and honor that same place that resides within each of you. We are all a part of one another. Thank you so much for coming to practice yoga with me on this beautiful Thursday. <clears throat> Please join me at the library later today if you'd like to. Thank you again and namaste. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that all of you are here today. And have a wonderful rest of the day. I will be here tomorrow, even though it is the 31st. Um, it doesn't mean a thing to us.